video? Yeah. I'm videoing right now. Just looking at.
This is Kisa. She is a domestic long hair, um, born 2009, female spade. Uh, she's here for a dental, um, also abdominal uh, radiographs. However, um, our radiograph machine is out today, so we will be just be doing an abdominal ultrasound. She had elevated pH and crystal urea in her lab work. Everything else was fine. I'm just going to do a quick uh, look at her, make sure everything's good. Very mild to slight tartar. Good job. Thank you for letting me look in your mouth. Nice and clear. Pain kicked out. Don't palpate any lymph nodes. Feels good too. Body feels good. No lumps or bumps. Um, hair code is good as well. Oh, thank you very much. VCS I would actually say is pretty ideal, so about a five out of nine. Normal sounding lungs. Don't hear any heart murmur. About 160 heart rate. And we'll just get a quick weight on her. It's okay. So let's do 0.1 milliliters of dextromatore, ketamine, and hydromorphone, and 0.05 milliliters of midazolam. Okay. Um, and then I'll calculate the milligram dosages for you. Um, this is Dr. Golden. She will be doing the procedure today. Um, Dr. Elizabeth is currently on maternity leave because she's about to have her baby. Alright, um, I did the calculations. Are they okay to you? Looks good. Alright.
heart rate. Twenty rest rate. Think you're one.
deliver on top of us. She's okay. You ready? Help me there. Why you smell gassy? You pooped a little. Bring the train. 
trash can a little closer so I can throw this dirty. After her procedure of her dental, only had one tooth extracted, a little incisor. Let's do that last. Let's check you. How you doing? Pinkin' one. You didn't really mind me touching your mouth. That, that means you're not feeling too bad. Feeling pretty comfortable. Get a temperature. Was in stool. It said ninety eight three. I don't believe that. Let's actually twist you around. Make sure I'm actually in there. Try one more time. It says 98.6. Don't completely believe that because she still has some poop in there, but I'm still going to give her some time and put the heat bags back on her, and then I'll check the temperature later um, to make sure that um, her temperature is fine. She's bright and alert. Um, she's just resting. Um, I would even say she's like a zero to one out of a pain score because um, she's not painful when I was touching her mouth and that's where we did the procedure. We also gave her buprenorphine which should be kicking in right now so she should be under control. Uh, McLindsay Antonucci, and then this is Laura Singleton, uh, my mentor. Uh, this is Bosley. He is a two-year-old male neutered uh, American Bulldog. He's here for um, an annual lookup. Um, he also uh, just um, happens to have some weird bumps that are show up occasionally, so I just wanted to get him checked out. Um, so we're going to first do a physical exam, and then Dr. Laura, or not Dr. LVT Laura, um, will uh, tell us where to go from there. So, Bosley, you want to come here? Here, right. Sit. So, Lindsay is going to start with a physical exam. Uh, then we're going to get a blood sample from Bosley and get some baseline blood values uh, to get an idea of what the next steps in his treatment plan are going to be. Uh, she's going to 
do a Shermer cure test and a fluorescein stain test as well. Okay. He's got some prognathism, which is pretty standard for the breed, uh, but it is all of his teeth are there. Um, uh, 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 uh. There's some uh, slight malalignment of the front teeth, but that's also due to the prognathism. They're kind of jammed together. Uh, very little to no uh, calculus or tartar. Hi. Hi. Some clear ears. Very clean ears. I'm going to listen to you. Heart sounds good, lungs are clear. Let me also feel your pulses. Very good, nice strong pulses. Side. So he's got a little bit of some decreased hair around these sides and these little areas. You also see some little red bumps in his inguinal area. Other than that, he's good. So now we're going to take Temperature. Sorry, it's a slow thermometer. There you go, 101.5. And the last thing I forgot to get is let me check your pink and one. Wonderful. All right. Let me just write those bottles down.
first one we're going to do the left eye. Thank you, Lord. There we go. Now, if wait for a minute. Halfway done. Almost done. Make sure your eyes are nice and working well. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the. Uh -uh. Okay. 
All right. That's on both sides. We'll just let it sit for a little bit. I know you got it all over your face. Stain takes up. I'm gonna turn off the light. Oh, you can see, kind of. So this would be a black light. I need to get the black light. Should probably. We'll have to do that again. It's not gonna show up. Okay. I don't expect to be seeing anything in terms of ulcers or any scratches on his eye, but we'll see. Nothing's really showing up on the camera. It's okay. I'm going to tell you what I see. It's, so the stain did take because I can see the stain glowing in the whites of the eye. I don't see any stain uptake in any part of the cornea or anywhere else deeper in the eye. It's good to know. Same thing with his other eye, they are both clear. Now to remove what is already on there. Turn the light on. Hmm. I'm not even sure where I'm in. <laughs> this poor boy. Just gonna flush some ophthalmic solution. Now you could have used Proparacaine before this, um, just to numb the eye a little bit more, which may have let him be a little bit more calm, but he's generally like this. No. There we go. And all done.